Hi everyone, this is James. I have a new video for you. It's called the Lord's Day Rapture. This may be your last warning. So let me get started. This could be a very urgent video. Okay, late last night, I was doing some Bible study and pondering some scriptures and I feel the Holy Spirit give me a revelation and that's why I'm creating this video. So let me show you what I found. Now, I'm creating this video right now. This is February the 5th, 2023 in the Gregorian calendar or the on the Hebrew calendar, the 14th of Shavat 5783. And that is the fifth month civil or the 11th month ecclesiastical year. So basically the religious calendar. And I'm going to get started here. Number one, Revelation 1.10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Now currently we're today's Sunday and it is the Lord's day. Now let me number two, Revelation 4.1. After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will shew these things which must be hereafter and finally number three and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold okay so I just want to make a few comments here now clearly it sounds like John was caught up in the rapture you know he was seeing the future you know that's what it sounds like in Revelation 1 10 and then you look at Revelation 4 1 you know this is when the door was opened and you know this is when the people are called up he's you know at the same time the people are being called up okay and then you're seeing that uh, in Revelation uh, 4 4 you get clothed in white raiment okay so that's the righteous and that'd be the righteousness of Jesus Christ and they receive crowns of gold you know these are the elders so you know this is definitely sounds like the rapture and I really feel the Lord has given us hints in the scripture, you know, pointing us that the rapture would happen on the Lord's day, um, you know, possibly. So I, I just want to show you this and um, see what you think and pray about it. Now, let me continue. I, you know, a few other things I want to show Now, I wanted to show you this screenshot. This is from Torah Calendar. That's where we are right now. So in the Torah Calendar, we're in the 11th month 13th day and the Gregorian calendar February the 5th 2023 okay and I just put here that God's fingerprint this is also known as the Fibonacci golden spiral and I feel the Lord only put this here Yahweh Yeshua Jesus Christ now in the Bible it says that we are created in God's image okay and you know the worshipers you know God wants people to worship him in spirit and you have to be born again okay so unless you're born again you cannot see the kingdom of heaven okay and un unfortunately if, if you perish then you you go to hell okay um, there's no other way um, you know that's 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 the facts okay so if you're watching this video after the rapture has happened you still can be saved but you want to believe in Jesus Christ now you know before it's too late before it's your last breath so I'm just gonna say you know because of censorship I can't say out too much on here possibly is what the B system wants to do and you can see it all in the media and the movies is destroy God's image you know he wants you to be like a beast. He wants you to be a slave. He wants to enslave humanity and serve him and have worship. You know, that's what Satan has always craved in the Antichrist, um, the false prophet, the beast system, the, the kings that follow have the same mind as the Antichrist and the false prophet. They, you know, they all want to be elite. You know, they're, well, they are, most of them are elites. 
and uh, or or they're just, or they're told that they're going to be rewarded and they're going to have status and, and and riches and then they're going to have a whole bunch of slaves you know that's what that's what it's about you know satan wants to finally get his wish to you know feel you know get the worship and and uh so it would make sense that possibly the rapture would happen on the lord's day um on on a sabbath it's very possible because you know people that you know i'm not saying all the people that go to church are are born again that's not true uh there's a lot of people that go to church are, are religious and have no re no relationship with jesus christ whatsoever but they go uh for many different reasons for uh feeling part of something um you know they they haven't they, they don't know what the gospel is a lot of them they don't understand the gospel and they, of course if they don't know it they don't understand it, they can't believe it and because of that they're not born again so you know i i just wanted to give this message out because I, I like i said i think it's real late in the hour in terms we're very close so let me continue um actually one other thing this is also interesting tuba shavat new year of trees it makes sense uh, people are known as trees many references in the bible that um, especially the Gentiles well actually I think Jews too you have the olive trees fig trees you know trees made reference to like the nations so it makes sense that the trees cut down there's a prophecy that the um, I, I can't remember which uh, verse it is right now but given three years for a um, a fig tree to uh, bear fruit and it doesn't and uh, it was given one more year and if it doesn't bear fruit it'd be cut down so that sounds you know very possible it sounds like the start of the tribulation okay cutting down you know it's that's it they've axed to the to the tree so the, the tribulation and jacob's trouble uh jacob's trouble would start so it makes sense to me and that's why i'm presenting this information to you but again you know pray um pray to the Lord and read your Bible and see if you'll get that confirmation or you know see if the Lord reveals something to you but let me continue now I just created this illustration this is um, again God's fingerprint the golden spiral or also known as the Fibonacci you know I feel God was very adamant he wanted me to put this again it's God's fingerprint not Fibonacci allowed this uh, fellow to you know discover it but you know it's it's got actually God's fingerprint so let me let me just show you, you got one one and you got two three five eight thirteen and it goes on from there but um, these are the numbers like today if you look at the Hebrew date and also t today's date again February the 5th 2023 it all fits okay and, and that's why I felt this was urgent to show you this video. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to share some scripture verses. So please, if you're not born again, you're not saved, you know, take these scripture verses very seriously. And please watch my previous videos so you can see that, you know, God is definitely at this time showing many signs and in these connections are undeniable that that's God hidden behind the scenes and uh, you know it shows the power and glory of God so please um, please take this message serious all right thank you God bless so let me read these verses to close out this video Romans 10 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved now 1 Corinthians 15 3 through 4 you can also read the entirety of the gospel that Jesus gave Paul to preach to the whole world that's 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 4 let me read you 3 through 15 1 Corinthians 15 3 through 4 
just want to be clear for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures okay now Jesus Christ died for your sins that's past present and future sins his blood sacrifice was one time and it was for it's forever so you got to believe in his finished work trust in his blood sacrifice the rapture is like a second Passover so you got to trust in the blood of Jesus Christ for your atonement for your soul for your salvation but trust in his finished work it's not by your works it's not by your works Jesus came he was you know he was not a victim he he chose to uh, he chose to save us but you got to believe you got to have faith it's not by works now Ephesians 2 8 through 10 let me read this for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them that's an incredibly profound statement what that's saying so I'm gonna I'll exclude John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life and Revelation 11 3 and I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth now the two witnesses will come onto the scene probably shortly after the rapture in Israel okay and they will get the, the straight truth right from God so if you're left behind please look to the two witnesses they'll come on the scene in Israel okay and of course open your Bible read Revelation Daniel the Gospels Paul's epistles I wasn't going to share this part with audio because of possible censorship but I decided I'm going to anyway so let me let me show you some numbers and their meanings and why these are important okay now number 44 means perdition okay let me tell you a little bit about a backstory here now I was studying Daniel and Revelation Oh, I mean I currently still do but back around year over a year ago I was studying intently and the Lord he told me that Barack Obama is an Antichrist okay now his number is 44 means man of perdition okay he is absolutely the man of perdition okay God you know told me when he gave me this divine revelation this is when he told me he confirmed what I was already thinking or what I already found um, from the research and and um, I won't really get into the in depth in this I just want to tell you you know if you're born again you're going in the rapture you're not going to have to deal with the man of perdition the man of sin okay anyway but this is for those are if you're watching this video after the rapture happens unfortunately it's going to be a, a, a perilous time with a lot of deception and you're going to have to deal with these characters that I'm talking about right now now Jared so Jared Kushner his number is 666 that also means the B system he is the man of sin he is the final Antichrist okay he's the one that's going to go in 
from my understanding now this 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 here I'm telling you uh, is conjecture possibly possibly I know for a fact that Barack Obama is an Antichrist and Jared Kushner is the final Antichrist that's a fact and that's why I say it plainly he's a man of sin Barack Obama is the, the man of perdition again Jared Kushner he's the man of sin okay if there's another way of spelling his last name it's Kushner K-U-S-H-N-I-R uh, in Greek is 666 uh, and possibly Latin I, I, I'm not sure what but uh, it, anyway 666 it adds up okay now Pope Francis he's the false prophet 100% he's the false prophet okay and 666 again I want to make sure I'm clear that is means the B system also it's a man of sin that's his kingdom basically um, and then I just want to show you a few of these 60 for pride 65 for apostasy 66 is image or idol worship now the King James version of the Bible translation you know that's 66 books you know that's a good thing that's that's 66 okay that is one of man's biggest problems is idol worship and I think that's why the Lord chose that many books you know possibly just to you know it, it's man's biggest issue is well pride idol worship so you know don't fret over that but anyway and I recommend the King James version of the Bible I'm a descendant of King James you know I already mentioned in my other videos so I'm a descendant of King David so the Lord he wanted me to say um, to recommend the King James version of the Bible and uh, this lo logo over here you're probably well aware of what this is in a Bluetooth logo is actually a logo the B system okay now it symbolizes Bluetooth but this B here this B system 666 th that is bad now again I mentioned many times um, you know, want to look to the two witnesses in Israel when after the rapture happens if you're left behind in, you know in the tribulation okay they're gonna give the, the truth right from God okay directly and of course you can open your Bible read it Revelation Daniel um, the Gospels you know, Paul's epistles and you know it's God's word he's preserved it you know you want to believe in Jesus Christ you do not take the mark be it uh, if it's an implanted possibly in, in something a microchip a ta even a tattoo do not take it not on your wrist in your forehead right right hand or your forehead um, do not follow the beast the Antichrist the kings of the earth that are all together associated with Barack Obama or Jared Kushner or Pope Francis you do not want to follow them if they make laws that go against God you do not want to follow them you do not want you know you don't want to f worship or follow the beast or take the mark okay so you, you gotta you know if if it causes you to lose your job you're gonna have to but you gotta remember that God w will provide he'll preserve you'll protect you and even if it comes down to it you perish it is better that you perish and go to heaven than go to to have a, uh, a short amount of time on earth being a slave and then go to hell so you know just look at the big picture look at the big picture you want to go to heaven for eternity you don't want to go to hell for eternity it might be you know it's going to be a short time of suffering but unfortunately because um, you were not born again and if you you know if you're left behind you know you didn't believe in God you might have been uh, said you're an atheist or you might have been a false religion you're left behind but you can be saved that's what I'm saying there is hope so you're not you're not doomed unless you worship the beast follow the beast take his mark you know so don't take the vaccine um, the jabs 
that is how they're going to manipulate the DNA. Satan wants to turn you into a beast, be a slave. Okay, I, I know. I've, I just want to make sure that's clear. So, um, I've just got one other slide, and uh, that'll conclude this video. So, thank you, and God bless you. Please take this video serious. All right, thank you. God bless you. Now, I feel the Lord has uh, a number of times made me aware of something that's out in the realms of, of the solar system in the in the heavens. Um, he's referring to Nemesis Nibiru. You know, some kind of, um, I don't know if it's a dwarf planet or whatever. I, I haven't really done a lot of research in this. But uh, I do know it, sound, it sounds like there's a threat and it's coming. And um, I don't know if it's the timing of the rapture happening or uh, I know the, the Lord is um, saying that it's going to be a um, it's going to be a, a, a big problem in the tribulation. It's going to cause a lot of problems. So that's why I wanted to warn warn the people. Uh, I I recommend you trust the Word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know Yeshua, to call on His name before chaos and destruction happens, or when you see the impending event or events coming. Um, you know I don't I don't know like. I, I don't know if if this is a threat immediate or you know it, this is something again if you're a born-again believer you don't have to worry about any of this you know you're, you're, you're gonna be out of here you're gonna be tabernacling with God you'll be gone protected you're not gonna be part of the trial and testing and the tribulation you know because you're a believer if you're born again you believe the gospel that Jesus or uh, let me let me tell you the gospel one more time. Um, Christ died. Christ died for the, for your sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried, and on the third day he rose again. According to the scriptures. Okay. Believe that with your heart, not in vain. You know, no, it's not by works. You know, it's. Jesus Christ is saving you because of grace. Your Father is saving you because of grace. Grace alone by faith. And you being left behind, like if you're a religious person, you're left behind. You know that that's true now. You know, you know there's no debate. Those that left believe the gospel, the true gospel. But you can be saved and, and you're still going to be gems. You know, God's going to reward you for you know, even though you're in tri in tribulation and that you're saved, you're, you're going, you know, you're very important. God loves you, so don't give up. You can do it. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you. And God bless you. And please like and share this video with all your family and friends. And
Of your servant, David. 